And your teeth, animators! What? Because there's something you need to know. Not every little bit of animation needs to be animated amazingly. <gasps> no, 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 no. I'd like to show you why with this shot of Gurren Lagan. Kamina, one of the show's protagonists, raises his head and talks to his comrades. <laughs> That's it. All the little secrets of animation are hidden in this little shot. So let's explore. The shot is quite interestingly framed and starts off with a lot of impact. The explosive backgrounds, the speed lines, the flapping cape and hair all help in this regard. The lip sync is a little bit above average. Usually in anime, they don't care about the lips matching the vowel sounds. They just open and close the mouth in the rhythm. Then we get a pretty cool but weird head turn. I didn't catch this at all when I was watching it the first time. But let's see this frame by frame. We close up to the mouth, switch to the eye, like the camera's readjusting, and then switch back to a medium shot and do the whole turn once again. It's like they animated two turns and said, the hell with it, let's just slap them both in there. For some reason it just works. It's extra bombastic and it's over the top, and most of all, it's very true to the character. Here's the shot without the extra turn. It works well, but the extra turn has a little extra oomph. After the turn, we have the same open and close lip sync we all know and love. But then we have a couple of nice frames to spice it up. I really like these frames where he turns his head to and away from the camera. Makes the character seem like he's in this actual space and less like a flat cutout. The final part of the lip sync is very nice and ends the shot with a lot of impact. You can tell that the animators and the voice actors work together very well. But do you see it, you lovely animators? You budding directors? Don't you see what's going on? This entire shot is carefully planned out with simple animation and expressive dynamic animation. Bam! We open the shot. It's intense. And right when we've seen enough mouth loops, bam! We have to turn. More mouth loops, bam! Some head turns, and bam! The shot finishes with a lot of impact. If we have a graph with audience interest, it would look something like this. Pop! 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 This is one of the most important things to learn, especially when you're an independent animator or director. You don't have the time or money to make everything amazing. Just pick some parts that you want to put extra emphasis on. This doesn't just relate to one shot, it relates to your entire movie. The viewer won't get bored. In fact, give the viewer some time to relax and then BAM! Hit him with some nice, slick animation. Even Amaishi, the show's director, does this a lot. So get out there and start animating awesome and less awesome animation. <laughs> this shot is just the beginning of one of the greatest punches in anime history. I already did a full analysis on it, so follow the link if you want to see the rest. Also, the show is sponsored by these lovely patrons. See you next week. See ya.